I like Ibex. Ibex reads, I, I, I. Ibex reads, I, I, I. Ibex reads, I, I, I. The missionaries were to arrive at Ilex Ibex's house. While Ilex Ibex waited, he went bike riding with his friend Irene. Ilex Ibex and Irene had been told to ride only as far as the apple tree. Ilex Ibex remembered that the little Ibexes should not go past the apple tree. Ilex Ibex kindly reminded Irene that it was never, never right to tell a lie. Irene agreed with Ilex Ibex. Ilex Ibex and Irene kept riding back and forth. They did not ride past the apple tree. Then they stopped to rest a while. Irene decided to tell Ilex Ibex a story. Irene liked to make up stories. Irene told Ilex Ibex that a tiger or a lion lived behind the lilac bush. Wild tiger? Gigantic l -l -l lion? Uh, 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 I never heard that story, whispered Ilex Ibex to himself in a shaky voice. After Irene left, Ilex Ibex was riding his bicycle by the lilac bush. Ilex Ibex saw two bright shining eyes. The bright shining eyes reminded him of someone. Ilex Ibex smiled a big happy smile as he rode his bike home. Ilex Ibex's mother was sitting on the white porch on the side of the Ibex's home. Mama Ibex had just memorized a Bible verse for the day. Ma! Ma! laughed Ilex Ibex as he hopped off his bike. Mama Ibex smiled. Slow down, Ilex Ibex. Why are you laughing? Now, please tell me what you are trying to say. Irene told me a story about a wild tiger or a gigantic lion that lives behind the lilac bush, laughed Ilex Ibex. Then I saw two bright shining eyes. Look, Mama Ibex, Ilex Ibex said as he pointed to the lilac bush. I did see shining eyes in the lilac bush. Mama Ibex and Ilex Ibex began to giggle. <laughs> Climbing out of the lilac bush came Ilex Ibex's pet kitty cat, Smiley. I saw Smiley's bright eyes peeking from inside the lilac bush, laughed Ilex Ibex. Now I know Irene's story was not true. That's quite right, I likes Ibex, nodded Mama Ibex. You must not believe everything you hear. Then I likes Ibex had an idea. Mama Ibex, may I talk to Irene on the telephone? May I tell Irene that at first I thought Smiley was a tiger or a lion in the lilac bush. Irene will like to hear my funny story. So, Mama Ibex dialed Irene's number on the telephone for Ilex Ibex. Ilex Ibex used his most polite telephone manners. Ilex Ibex told Irene how surprised he had been when he first saw the bright shining eyes in the lilac bush. They laughed together as Ilex Ibex told Irene about Smiley, his cat, climbing out of the lilac bush. I likes Ibex, said Irene quietly. I am sorry. Will you forgive me for making up that story? 
Yes, Irene, said Ilex Ibex. I will forgive you. Oh, thank you, replied Irene. I know now that making up that story was just like telling a lie. I always want to be truthful. Remember, said Alex Ibex kindly, it's never... I know, Alex Ibex, <laughs> laughed Irene. It's never, never right to tell a lie. Alex Ibex and Irene were both smiling as they said goodbye. Mama Ibex, said Alex Ibex, I forgave Irene and she feels so much better. I feel good too, Mama. You will find, Alex Ibex, that when you do right, you feel happy, said Mama Ibex. Alex Ibex smiled a wide, happy smile. I will always try to do right. Mama Ibex and Alex Ibex sat down side by side on the white porch. Mama Ibex and Alex Ibex were thinking happy thoughts. After a while, Alex Ibex said, I would like to do something kind for the missionaries who are coming to visit. I have a fine idea, said Mama Ibex. Why don't you set up a limit stand out by our pine tree? Many people will buy a cold cup of limeade on this hot afternoon. You can give the money to the missionaries. Oh, Mama Ibex, exclaimed Ilex Ibex. Can I? I like your fine idea. So Mama Ibex and Ilex Ibex went right to work. Mama Ibex sliced nine ripe limes. Ilex Ibex got out the cups and the ice cubes. Mama Ibex made a nice sign to invite everyone to buy Ilex Ibex's lime meat. The nice sign said, Lime meat with ice is very nice. Now is the time. The price is a dime. Soon, all the thirsty neighbors lined up beside Ilex Ibex's sign. Ilex Ibex served ice cold lime meat to all the neighbors. Alex Ibex politely said thank you to each one. Before long, Alex Ibex had earned a fine pile of nine shiny dimes. Now I've got something to give to the missionaries, said Alex Ibex as he counted the dimes. Alex Ibex smiled a happy, wild smile. Suddenly, Alex Ibex's nose wrinkled up. Ilex Ibex's nose did not like something. Ilex Ibex smelled smoke. Ilex Ibex looked up. Sure enough, black smoke was rising high in the sky. Orange and yellow flames poked through the smoke sometimes. Something was on fire. Ilex Ibex cried, Ma! Ma!